Do you wish your robot could make a perfect turn every time? Are you getting frustrated with the movement blocks saying turn 45 degrees for 10 rotations, for one second, for 20 centimeters? Do you want to be able to know that your robot's gonna turn the direction you want it to turn every single time on the very first try? We're gonna use the yaw sensor today. Your Spike Prime Hub has a built-in sensor that tracks rotation in 3D space. The one we care about today is called yaw, and that's rotation, left or right, like your robot spinning on the spot. Yaw is measured in degrees, just like a circle. A typical circle goes at zero to 360 degrees, a clock goes 12 o'clock to 12 o'clock, but our yaw sensor on our Spike Prime Kit goes negative 180 to 179. I've designed this circle so that you can visualize it you can print it out and put your hub right on top of it to see it. If you want to turn clockwise, your yaw increases. To turn counterclockwise, it decreases. Let's create a new project to display our yaw on our screen and on our hub. When the program starts, let's go ahead and just make it wait one second. That way we know that our hub is being totally still and not affected by pressing the button to start the hub. And then we're gonna click on sensors and set yaw angle to zero. This is gonna reset our robot, so no matter what direction it's facing, the yaw angle is zero. Next, we're gonna create a variable. Click make a variable and call this yaw display. This way, whoever's looking at your computer screen will always see what the yaw is set to. And let's set yaw display to yaw angle. This way, no matter which way you turn your robot, it should update your yaw display with the correct angle. I like to make it so that my robot shows what direction is straight ahead, and so I like to always add a light that makes an arrow pointing. I like to show that for maybe half a second. And let's see, I'm gonna duplicate that because I, I want that arrow to still be available for me. Next thing we're gonna do, inside a forever loop, we're gonna create a forever loop and it's gonna constantly set the yaw display to the yaw angle. It's going to also show us what direction is straight and then we're going to write the yaw display to our hub. And then it's gonna repeat itself. So we push play on this, we see an arrow pointing forward to show us which direction our hub is facing. And as we turn it, the yaw display is going to change and it's going to update. The yaw display, the yaw angle is also going to appear on our hub. So no matter which direction you point your hub, it's gonna tell you what angle you're pointing it's also gonna show you on your computer what angle you're pointing. Now for the fun part, let's use yaw to make perfect 90 degree turns. We start this program off with our standard moving robot start blocks. That means we set the movement motors, we set one motor rotation to the size of the tire, and we set the movement speed. I'm gonna change my movement speed to about 20% because I like my robots to start off slow and then slowly go faster. The next thing we need to do is tell it to wait for one second. If you push the button on the hub, it's gonna make the robot shake and that can throw off our next block, which is set the yaw angle to zero. With the yaw angle set to zero, our robot is ready to detect if it has turned 90 degrees to the left or 90 degrees to the right. We want to turn 90 degrees to the right. And the way we're gonna do that is making a zero point turn. That means one wheel is gonna go forward, one wheel is going to go backwards, and our robot is turning with the middle of the robot as the center point for that turn. We'll make another video later on about pivot turns and zero point turns, and maybe define which one means turn on a dime. To make our robot turn with a zero point turn, we need to add the more movement blocks. So down on extensions in the bottom left corner, we'll click more movement, it's the pink one, now we have some new blocks. We want this start moving at 50-50 speed. If I want my robot to turn right, I need the left wheel to be moving 
forward, and I want the right wheel to move backwards. This is going to make our, my robot start to turn to the right. If I pushed play, my robot would just be spinning in one spot, and I don't want it spinning in just one spot. I want it to stop whenever it gets to 90 degrees. So we'll use a control block called wait until. We'll get an operator, wait until our yaw angle is greater than 90. And so for sensors, I grab the yaw angle, and I'm gonna wait until yaw angle is greater than 90. At that point, I want my robot to stop moving. Let's have it tell us what yaw angle it ended up at. And I'm gonna actually do this two times in case I miss it on the first one. And I can drag this yaw angle and replace hello. <clears throat> and then whenever my robot makes the right turn, it'll also display the angle that it actually stopped at. So I push play on this one. It waits a second, it turns right, and it comes to a stop. And mine stopped at 91, maybe 95. So a perfect right angle turn. And we'll make another video on how to make these even more accurate. If I wanted to turn left, let's go ahead and put a control in here. Let's wait one second and let's have it turn back the other way. So we will add the movement motors. We're going the opposite direction. So start moving negative 20 and the right can be 20. And we want to again, wait until, and we'll get an operator. If we're making a left turn, that means we're going into the negative numbers. So we want to wait until our yaw angle is less than, so it's gone past it, less than negative 90. You can look at that circle and figure out what direction your robot needs to turn in. And if we're making a left turn, we're gonna go negative 90 degrees. So we'll throw in that sensor yaw angle right there. And then once it gets there, we want it to come to a stop and we will have it show us again what angle it ended up at. And this is reminding me right now that we didn't reset the yaw angle. So I'm going to go through and reset the raw yaw angle before it starts moving. So wait one second, set yaw angle to zero, then start moving. Once that yaw angle is less than negative 90, stop moving and then write the yaw angle for me so I can see what it did. This whole program should turn right 90 degrees and then left 90 degrees. 95 degrees, now it's going the other way, back to where it started, and now we're at negative 91 degrees. Great. We have a robot that is making some perfect turns right now, but this is gonna be a lot to code if we were going to go through and have to set yaw angle, start moving at a certain speed, wait until every single time we wanted to make a turn. We're going to make a my block so that we can just tell the robot to turn and it'll do all of these steps on its own and do the math for us. So click on the red my blocks, click on make a block and let's give it a name. So we're gonna call this yaw turn we're gonna add an input, which is a number or a text, and then we're gonna add a label. And we're going to say degrees. And maybe for your teammates, you might wanna say negative 180 to 179. That way people know what type of number you should type in for this block to work. Click on save, and it's going to create a red define block right next to it. On this define block, the first thing we want to do is we want it to tell our robot to stop moving our robot is going to stop and we're gonna have it wait for about half a second. Sometimes these robots continue to move just a little bit and it'll throw off this next step, which is going to be to set yaw angle to zero. We want this robot or this code block to do all the math for us. So we're gonna do a control block that is if then else. And the thing we need to check for is if the yaw turn number is a right turn or a left turn. So a right turn is going to be a positive number and a left turn is going to be a negative number. So we'll get that operator and let's start and just check to see, is this supposed to be turning left? So if yaw turn is left than zero and I click on my blocks and actually I can drag down number or text. If the number of text that is inserted is less than zero, that means it's going to be a left turn. So let's take our left turn code right down here and drop it in that if. 
And so we wait until yaw angle, and we don't wanna say negative 90, we want it to go to that number or text. So if it waits until it's less than the number of text, then it can go down here and we want it to stop moving. And if our robot's not turning left, that must be it mean it's turning right. So we can drop these blocks right over here where the left turn, left wheel drives straight, right wheel goes backwards, wait until, and again, not yaw angle, but instead the number or text that we're looking for. Once that yaw angle is greater than that number, that's when it's gonna jump down here to stop moving. So now we can get rid of almost all of our code and let's put these in and just test them out. So whenever we put start the program, let's see if it can turn right 90 degrees and then let's have it wait just a moment. And let's have it turn back the other way, turn left 90 degrees. We can push play on this bot and we'll see that right away, it makes a perfect right turn to 90 degrees, waits a second, and then turns left back to where it started. That wraps up our lesson today, but I have a challenge for you to keep the learning going. We used those green operator blocks that were greater than or less than, and we used greater than or less than to know if it was a left turn or a right turn, but I want to hear from you, why didn't we use an equal sign in our operator blocks? How come we didn't have the hub check to see if our angle, our yaw angle, was equal to a specific number? Test it out. Try replacing it with an equal sign rather than a greater than or less than and see what happens. Especially see what happens if you up that turn speed to something faster than 20%. If you were confused by today's lesson, we have another video that takes about 45 minutes that goes really deep into this yaw sensor and explains some more. You can find that video on our robotics playlist. Be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned because next week we're gonna use that yaw sensor and yaw pointer to have our robot navigate mazes, which is gonna help you to navigate your first LEGO League robot game mission mat without any problem. Setting the vault yaw value to be zero. Blah, 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 blah.